are less than an hour from the Canada border. We're gonna be filling up our tanks, eating, and then seeing if there's anything else we need to get ready and prep before we go across the border. So we filled up on diesel here. And then we're stopping at a county park here in Shelby to let Hensley play on the playground, eat some lunch, get some water, dump our tanks, and then we're heading to the border. And so knock on plastic or what, what that's made out of foam or something <laughs> but marissa's in some groups uh, about the border crossing we've been doing research and we've had people that we know that are going up there talking about it they've pretty much just been asked two or three questions and then they move on so we're really hoping that's all that we're going to need to know as far as what we're doing uh some of the most common questions what are the most common questions everybody's getting firearms alcohol and tobacco okay and we have got none of that so <laughs> no no can, no yes but you can be occasionally asked about fruits vegetables meats so you just have to be prepared to answer and that's a no on that too we're, we're just really <laughs> just hoping to pull in and say no no sir no sir no sir or ma'am you don't know or ma'am, no ma'am, could be ma'am. And then also we've heard if you look disrespectful or talk disrespectfully, or if I was, um, if you're chewing gum, wearing sunglasses, wearing, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> you, know, you want to be respectful to border two and not raise red flags as to like, hey, there might be something shady here or just irritate them in any way. So for lunch, we're finishing off all our fresh fruits and vegetables that can't go with us. And Marissa's got to finish off all of her booze too, so <laughs> we don't have to declare it at the border. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> totally a joke. Just kidding. She's scared to death of me at the border. <laughs> this is a city park. We're not going to be staying. We're just filling up our fresh water, dumping our tanks, and moving on. Pretty desolate right now. <laughs> I don't know if these fill up during events or what they're used for, but if you come to any of these during a the week, I mean, it's usually not a problem to get into one. Canada bound. You ready to get into Canada, Hensley? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, She's having a rough day. Yeah, it's one of those days. <laughs> no, I'm super excited. Never been to Canada. It's the first time Hensley's been out of the country, so that's exciting. A lot of firsts. She gets a stamp in her passport, which is pretty cool. But I am, I don't know why, you just a little bit nervous, even though we we have nothing so and we do have all three of our passports right here in the front with me i also have registration for the airstream and the van and then the third thing is i have the license plate numbers for both vehicles also right here so i can look at them and tell them to border patrol i in no way promise this is all you need or what you need but from what we've read we're trying to get some and there's some other stuff we've probably done too but um, we're hoping hoping we're at least close to being ready you just want to be able to answer all their questions mm -hmm. quickly, honestly, have every documentation ready to go so there's no waiting or fumbling. The, the one common thing we've seen is that it's much easier to plan a little bit ahead, have everything prepped, and quickly and easily answer this stuff than to get there and fumble your way through it or be chomping gum and wearing sunglasses and being disrespectful without even realizing you're doing it and then having vegetables all over the place and just, you know, you do a little bit of homework and you show them respect and hopefully you can get right in in a few minutes versus it could be over an hour if it's like a whole search and pull over deal from what I've read. Here We're we hoping go. for minutes, not hours. I'll be out of your way. Oh, There's Canada right there. Are you ready to go to Canada? Mm -hmm. Well, we got like 20 cars in front of us. Yeah, but. after 20 cars, we're in. Where's Canada? It's over there. Canada have a playground <laughs> they, they probably got a playground. Now they might ask us some questions, okay? You gonna be good at answering questions? Uh -huh. Okay. And do they have a playground? Is that gonna be your question? You you got the question for them? Do they have a playground? Yes. So we made it through the border. <laughs> and they I was a little worried because they can't see in the back of the van. He was having to really try to see. When I told him there was just one person back there, he's like, <laughs> he thought we were smuggling Hensley in. So the van did not get us in trouble for once. I'm excited. <laughs> the, the only really question they asked was more about if we had guns, mace, switchblades, stuff like that. They didn't ask us really anything else about what we had. He was more interested in our work situation. <laughs> they got the plate numbers. I'm sure he ran our plates. What we do for work. Which is always one of those weird, weird questions anyway <laughs> when you tell people that you vlog on YouTube. It's like, <laughs> that's a thing. Uh, and he asked, <laughs> it's uh, a job. Uh, hey, great, Hensley, you aced it. She wanted to ask if they had playgrounds, but <laughs> that was her only question. Yeah, I said, like, sir, our daughter has one question. 
And do you have a McDonald's? Yeah, an old McDonald's. An old McDonald's. Yeah. I hope she calls it old McDonald's forever. I know I will. She's talking about McDonald's. <laughs> Ask them if they have playgrounds they have play they have and an old McDonald's. I'm sure they do. We made it to Lethbridge, which is in Alberta. I got in here. <laughs> I don't think I can make this turn. I don't know how I'm getting out of here yet. There's just no way. <laughs> There's no way. I can maybe back it out down here. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten some looks driving around here. This is beautiful though. There's like a Japanese gardens and a huge park in the middle of the city just surrounding this lake over here. Looks incredible. What do you think about Canada, Hensley? Isn't it pretty? So far driving in Canada has not been drastically different than driving in the US. Everything's in kilometers and meters. And so we figured out that we're around 3.3 meters tall in the RV, which is good to know. So we don't scrape the top of the RV. And then kilometers isn't that bad because my van already has kilometers on it. And so I just got to kind of pay attention to that. But the roads are about the same as Montana. The speed limits around the same as Montana, maybe a little bit slower. Um, and honestly, the terrain, very similar to Montana so far. But yeah, other than driving on the opposite side of the road and uh, everything being in French, it's been, uh, you know, been about the same. <laughs> obviously none of that. It's same side of the road. Everything's in English, um, just in kilometers and meters. So I do have to convert that. shopping list yeah. whoa cupcakes oh my goodness. ice cream donuts yeah there are some strawberries and okay. cherries okay well yeah it looks like it. you sure that's not your shopping list <laughs> she called this a shopping list so is this what mommy's shopping list looks like speaking of shopping you can buy to your heart's content now marissa <laughs> i don't know how that works of course we're going to alaska which will be over a week so i don't think that'll be an issue but we're going to stock back up we're actually going to go to a walmart maybe oh, tonight i don't know if i get the rv out so we might just be here Forever. <laughs> I don't know. Can we become Canadian residents? I don't know. Hi. Like by default, we're residents because we can't get out of your park. <laughs> but worst case, I did get in, so I've got to be able to zigzag my way out. But it was definitely zigzaggy coming in. Oh well. You say Let's do this. So I'm thinking the plan here, I'm not gonna be able to go around that curve. So I'm gonna back up here and then hopefully pull out there. Is that doable? <laughs> you want me to back that up for you? If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I have great backing up skills. Can't believe I got that first try. I'll never get that again. <laughs> Pretty similar to the ones in the States. Garden Center is C-E-N-T-R-E. -E. There's a food and fashion going on. So food and fashion, maybe the more fashionable in Canada. I don't know. <laughs> they could be. <laughs> we love, uh, we do Walmart. We love these spots where the door opens up to this because with our kid and just, you don't get traffic on one side of the RV at least. Well, it lets Hensley have some grass to play in and then we can work out in the grass. Yeah, it like feels spots. like a little bit of privacy yeah. and instead of like being in the middle of the parking lot. Um, I don't know, just kind of a what we like at least. Thoughts on Canada so far? It's really beautiful. It I'm is. surprised how warm it is. I didn't, yeah. I didn't expect. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Kicking the camera. Yeah! Wah! <laughs> I just didn't expect it to be so hot. 
not that I expected it to be cold. I just, it's really, it's hot. Well, I think it's like <laughs> a lot of places, it's elevation based too. We are farther north, but if you're at a higher elevation, even farther south, it's going to be colder than here. I think there's just enough familiarity where it's not super tough to be in Canada, but yet still enough that's not known that it's kind of exciting. So I think it's, it's great. And we want to explore Canada itself as well. Mm -hmm. But right now we're getting north because <laughs> Every day we spend here is another day we don't get farther away. We're almost halfway to Fairbanks, Alaska from Tennessee, so isn't that crazy? <laughs> we got all the way across the U.S. We've gone into Canada. Still not halfway. It's a little, it's it's a long way. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get to spend the night again in the where we spend more nights than anywhere. It seems like a Walmart parking lot but it's great. Like there's a subway within walking distance. There's a McDonald's within walking distance. There's a Walmart. There's, it just works. We don't need hookups. We're just sitting in the parking lot and buying things and giving them business. And um, we're gonna go do some grocery shopping because Hensley keeps asking to go shop with her list. Yes, so. And it looked like a really cupcakes good Cupcakes and sweets, list. I love that list. <laughs> and we've cleaned everything <laughs> out, so we have no food. Hensley, you ready to go shopping? You wanna use your list? Where's your list? Where's your list? Right here. All right. You ready to go into a Canada Walmart? Uh-huh. All right. You gonna say see you later? See you later. All right. We'll catch you guys later.